This comes out of section 3.2, acceleration. Now, in physics, uh, you, you had things like distance time graphs, you had velocity time graphs, and you had acceleration time graphs. One of the hardest things people find to visualize in physics, 20 I found when teaching it, was this kind of con concept of going from an object here that's accelerating, so it's actually going faster and faster and faster, which means it's it's VT graph looks something like this. Acceleration is a measurement of change in velocity over change in time, so it's acceleration graph that looks something like this. So if we have uh, wondering what acceleration is, it's change in velocity over change in time, or it could be said that it's you know the the derivative of velocity. But we already already know that velocity is equal to the derivative of position, and maybe I should use an S for position to stay consistent here. Um, so if we want to know what acceleration is, it's actually the second derivative of, you know, of our position. So d2s over dt squared, if you like, or just the second derivative. So let's do an example of that. So our example is this. We've got position is given by 2t cubed plus 4t squared plus t. Find v of t. Well, we know that's ds by dt. And so it's going to be 6t squared plus 8t plus 1. Um, the acceleration is just the derivative of that. And so uh, the second derivative of position, if you like. But it's 12t plus 8. Uh, so the acceleration after 4 seconds, it's just instantaneous rate of change of v with respect to t, is just going to be um, a of 4, which is 12 times 4 plus 8. So 48 plus 8 equals 56 meters and seconds were our units, so this is meters per second squared. Bit of a strange unit for acceleration, but it's not how fast you're going, it's how much your velocity is changing. So a race car might be going incredibly fast and have zero acceleration. Um, if it hammers on the brakes, it'll have a very strong negative acceleration. If it starts at the starting line and hammers on the gas, it'll have a strong positive acceleration. Um, there are some strange scenarios that you can describe where a car is driving backwards in reverse. If it's going faster and faster in reverse, it actually has a negative acceleration. That makes sense. If you're going in reverse and you slow down, you actually have a positive acceleration. And that one is a little bit strange to visualize, but that's the idea. Acceleration is change in velocity over change in time.